All right, what's going on everyone? Kyle here and today we're reviewing the brand new Ebonite Futura. Yeah, this beast. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so the idea behind the Futura is basically going to be a stronger game breaker. So for you guys that really like the game breaker line, the GB2s, the GB3s, this is going to be a stronger version of that for heavy oil. So like normal, we got a house shot on the left lane, a sports shot on the right lane. We're going to throw some shots and we're going to compare this ball to my trusty Game Breaker 2. I'm sure you guys probably saw that coming. So let's go ahead, let's throw some shots, let's let you guys get an analysis of what the ball is doing down the lane. Let's go. Been feeling trapped down on the floor. I don't know what for. Feels like I'm gonna lose. Silence takes a hold. I can't let it go. Chain up, no one knows. The stormy seas Put me in open water Let me have my peace And leave me till tomorrow Wind into my sail Away from things I let go Floating on the way We go bottoms up We go all the way When you're feeling down Push the pain away We go bottoms up We go all the way And face the shit another day Okay, so let's uh, let's talk about this Futura a little bit. So the numbers behind this ball is that the Futura has a 248 RG and a .053 differential. Now, first impressions of this ball, when I see this ball going down the lane, I think of smooth, super controllable. Now guys, I did put a smoother layout on this. I drilled it pin down under my middle finger. This is probably about a five inch pin for me, but I believe th the idea of this bowling ball is not gonna be that long snappy reaction. This is gonna be a ball for when there's some oil on the lanes and you need a ball to read and be controllable, this is gonna be one of those options. You can even see when I was throwing my Game Breaker 2, my, now my Game Breaker 2 does have a layout that provides me with more down lane reaction, but even still, the Game Breaker 2 was much more responsive off the spot, was being a lot more angular. Now this Futura, it was a lot more even rolling. It would read the middle part of the lane, read the front part of the lane, and just be really smooth down lane. As a tournament player and someone that bowls on more, I guess, heavier oil conditions, this is a ball that I really like to see in my bag because I like to have control. I want a ball that I can rely on to read the front part, the middle part of the lane, and be controllable down lane, especially on those fresher conditions. So for maybe you back home, when you're going to bowl tournaments, like maybe open championships, or maybe that house shot that's a little too oily for you, or you have a hard time getting the ball to react, something like this Futura is really gonna provide you with a reaction that reads that front, middle part of the lane, and it's really smooth down lane. So there you go guys, that's how the Futura was rolling for me. I hope this gave you a little bit of insight on how the bowling ball rolls. And remember, in the comments, let me know how this ball looks for you. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Did it roll well? Let me know. Also, we wanna offer you guys a free gift. All you have to do is click the link in the description. It's gonna ask for your name and email, and we will send you the free gift. So thank you guys, see you next time.